Sarah Cannon and I'm a documentary filmmaker. I've been working in documentary production. I've hold, held almost every job you can. Um, I've been doing it for about five years now and now I've really focused on post-production. I'm Isabel Carbonell and I'm a documentary filmmaker. I have my own company called the Sucker Productions. Yeah, today we taught a class called uh, Film Pitching Workshop and it was all about... We need a better name than that. We need a better name than that. But right Survi now survival it's called guide. Film No, this is it. Survi <laughs> survival Guide for Film Pitching. Um, <laughs> right? Yeah, Survival Guide. Film Pitch. Done. The, the, the word pitch sounds really formal, like you're going to do it to, you know, like a big network executive across a big boardroom table. It's not like that. You have to pitch your film, well it is like that, but very rarely. You have to pitch your film to your crew, to your family and friends about why you're not going to see them for six months. Potential investors, people that you're trying to get you to let them use their restaurant for free because your film is so great. Partners for your film, so get yes. people involved. In get other people to not want to see their friends and family for six months. That's right. And also pitching is a way to talk about your idea in a successful and succinct way. So you're selling everybody along the way that's asking you what you're doing with your life. I mean, I, I would say I pitch every single day, whether it's to somebody at the bar or in dancing or if it's a partner or if somebody new I met or a colleague. Um, where it gets really hot and heavy, where it gets really important is when I go for example to a film festival and I have a film pitching round table and that's when it gets really formal and I have access to Discovery Channel all of a sudden and own and that's where your pitching skills and the hundred other times that you've already been pitching to other people comes into play. Once you've figured out what your subject is about, you have to figure out first how you're going to say it, how people's story. Story, most important thing, have a story. What are you saying, how are you saying it? That could be it, but then second would be the structure of your pitch. What information you're delivering first, what information you're delivering last, how long your pitch is, 30 seconds, 5 minutes. You should be able to say what your film is about in 5 seconds. If you can't, you have a problem. You need to go back to the beginning and think more about what your film is about. And then the third thing would be delivery, how you're delivering it, which is less about pitching and it's more about public speaking. Are you charming? Are you connecting with the person? Is your body language open, or do you have your arms crossed? Um, you know, are you like pitching a hair? I mean, there's there's a lot of. But I would say like 50% of what how a pitch gets across is the nonverbal communication. But it's not even the what you're saying. It's how you're but saying. But if you have a film that you've really thought out, created and refined your idea that you're excited about, you're going to be engaging. Right. And you're going to have awesome body language right. because you're really excited about that right. idea. You're actually excited right. about it. But being excited is not enough. Yes. If you skip the step of a story, you're not selling people an experience, and you're not selling people like a character or a conflict, then you're going to lose people. It doesn't matter if you're enthusiastic, you know, you're like, well, I don't care about the idea that it's like, yeah, who cares about? Yeah. Sweet.